Alright, what's going on everyone? It is March 21st at the Gatewater Hotel, Viola Hall, of Case 4. Farewell my turnabout of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Welcome back, I am Get Dash, and that's a long, a lot of stuff to take in. And my sound works! This is my, my third time trying that, and every time my sound didn't work. I, I'm gonna try to get it fixed soon. I don't know when, but... It's, it's my cable, is the problem. It's all... Fucked up. Anyway, uh, Mr. Powers says, Oh, Mr. Wright, how are you? Uh, ah, Mr. Powers, have you been here the entire time? He didn't show his face. Ah, people connected to the mother aren't allowed to go home, let alone leave. So, he's connected to the murder, I guess, because he, um, because he's uh, related to the, C the whole Steel Samurai franchise, and they're just making him stay here? Like, damn. Uh, <laughs> does he just sleep in the hall? Did they at least give him a room or something? Anyway, we can talk to him about stuff. Uh, let's talk about the Nickel Samurai, I suppose. Can you tell me a little more about the Nickel Samurai TV show? Okay. Oh god, sounds cutting out again a little bit. Okay, it's back. Uh, the Nickel Samurai is an action hero program aimed towards kids. It's a sequel to it, The Steel Samurai, so it's basically the Korra to the last airbender. I see. This time there are three samurai brothers. Aluminum Samurai, Tin Samurai, and of course Nickel Samurai. Yes. It is a love... Why? In the... Neo... Love... Why? What? Oh, I I suppose it's supposed to be like a love triangle, essentially. Are they are they all gay? Are they or is one of them a chick? Probably one of them's a chick. I see. No, I see. Wait, a love what? A love why? This girl Sayo works at a tea shop, and all three guys fall for her at the same time. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. Oh, I guess the Y shape is like three brothers playing over this one girl. Anyway, Sayo is actually the daughter of the evil Strawberry Clan's leader. So, basically, a Sami. <laughs> um, sounds like an unusual situation, like Romeo and Juliet times three. Uh, the question is, does she know her father is actually the, uh, the leader thing there? I guess, well... Roshi wasn't, wasn't the leader, he was just sort of a dragon, basically. Uh, yeah. Strange thing is, this sort of forbidden love story is really big with the office ladies. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Um, yes, Pearl. Uh, what happens next? Oh, I don't know. You gotta watch the TV show to find out, I suppose. Uh, Miss Sayo? Is Miss Sayo fall in love? She does, doesn't she? Uh, every Sunday at 8 a.m. <laughs> Jesus, it's so early. <laughs> I'm going to stop watching Kids Masterpiece Theater starting this week. And my sound is gone again. Okay, no, there we go, it's back. Uh, I can't believe she's really considering it. it, it it's sort of cutting in and out. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to fix this. Give me a moment. Okay, I've got it fixed. Hopefully it will stay working this time and won't have a knee accidentally bump it or something so it to where it's not working anymore. Okay, so I can't believe she's really considering it. Alright, uh, the Chairman Ninja. Let's ask about that. So, what's the Chairman Ninja TV show like? It started from a remake of an old movie, to tell you the truth. Uh, the Chairman Ninja is like the samurai shows aimed towards kids. And, um, yeah, it's... it's... Ah, damn it. I'll try to fix it again. Okay, it's fixed again. So it, it's like, basically, the cable, like, it... The thing is, it needs to be... It's bent, so it needs to be rotated into the proper position to actually receive a signal, and it likes to rotate just like a, like a millimeter outside of that, and no sound. Or a cut out -y sound. So, the Jim Ninja is the story of a ninja who can't climb a wall, but became a big pop star. Uh... What? He was a really nosy ninja. Absolutely couldn't do any ninja, th ninja things right at all. We are the ninjas who don't do anything. We just stay at home and play our guitars. <laughs> but boy, could he sing! <laughs> and it makes sense. 
With his trusty bright red guitar in hand, he took the ancient world by storm. So now, now the question is, pirates who don't do anything versus ninjas who don't do anything. Oh, uh, wait, uh, a ninja with a bright red guitar? You know, which obviously goes against everything that is stealthy about ninjas. And then, the final fight in front of his beloved Princess Mizora! Jabin vs. the Muromachi 5! Uh, suddenly, our brave hero catches a not so jamming code the night before Battle 3! So yeah, this is this all happens in California, of course. Definitely not Japan! Um, oh, uh, that's too bad for him. Uh, yeah, but this kind of pop music-based love story is something high school girls really like. So they've both so they've both gained periphery demographics, it seems. Um, yes, per. What, what happens next? I want to know. German, the German ninja will he be able to sing? What about Princess Misola? Every Sunday at 8 a.m. So she has to choose to watch one or the other. Um, which show should I watch? Hmm. Can't believe she's really gonna. So. I guess that line is added to whichever one you choose second, and then I can't believe she's really considering it both times. Okay, so that's all we can really do with old Will here. Um... So... I'm gonna go back to the lobby, I just wanna see, we got a bunch of evidence in those rooms. I need to refresh my memory. On... Uh, on what old bag was looking for with the Magatma. I don't exactly remember. But she's got four cyclops, I remember that part. It's about what she witnessed. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. Please tell us what you saw. Okay. Um, I'll give you what you want. So she wants something. A guitar case, a crime photo. Uh... So it's basic, basically we're supposed to bribe her. Um, I don't think any of these things are going to be a bribe, so I'm going to stop. Uh, I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Okay, uh, she was okay. So maybe can I go to the old hall and uh, try presenting some of this stuff to Will, see if he knows anything about it? Um say so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try presenting the guitar case if you know anything about that. That guitar case! That was once! I'm guessing you've seen this case before. It's pretty famous by now. It sounds like because it was the bright red guitar. The bright red guitar, the German ninja signature item. But if the guitar is so important, how can you forget it for the award ceremony? Uh, that does seem a little strange. Unless it was stolen. Um... Let's see, what about the wine glass? You know anything about that? So, sorry! Thanks for taking the time to take it out and show it to me! But I'm really sorry I don't know anything about it! Okay, so he doesn't know anything about that. Huh. Anything we can anything more we can do here? There's a scandal that she was investigating. Uh can we move around? Huh, I'm not sure what to do next. I think I might cut the video here and try to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Alright, so I decided to go to the detention center. And uh we have a thingy here. Let's see what that's all about. So long guys here. Oh, the lawyer dude! So what'd you find out? Um, well, I'm still in the middle of investigating. I see! I've already told you everything I know, dude! Okay, so... We have new options about what happened in the victim. So... Can he tell us more? Uh, can you tell me about your activities last night? Um, after I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do, so I was in my little samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Uh, because of the press conference you're supposed to have after the show. I told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange, I don't think Sarah was going to confess something. And when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. 
Mr. Green, so I think this is all the, um... Yeah, this is, this is all stuff we've already seen, despite the fact that it got unchecked. Huh. Okay, I'll keep looking through, uh, through some of this and see what I can find. I'll be back. Alright, uh, I'm back. I ended up having a look at the walkthrough. Um... So, uh, I missed a few things in, uh, in regards to Tower Room, which is where I am now. Uh, the first thing I'm supposed to do is present Juan's profile to Andrews. Uh, did you know the victim, Mr. Corina? Yes, I knew him. Or, the world's such a small place, after all. Uh, did you know about his rival with the Nickel Samurai? Uh, honestly, they were like children when they came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most uninteresting things. Dot, dot, dot. I thought one of them weren't so stubborn that maybe no one would have needed to die. Question mark, or exclamation point. Uh, I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Wong Korea was killed. Okay. Uh, did I maybe get a talk option? Motive for murder, okay. So let's, let's talk about that. Uh, do you have any ideas? As to... As to why Mr. Korea was murdered? Why would you ask me? It's at least about <laughs> Why would you ask me about such a thing? Uh, I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? So we got a psych lock. Four of them again? Jesus. Uh, but Miss Andrews? Uh, sorry, but, in, but, 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 but I, this talking fast thing results in me slipping my, me getting my tongue tied way more often than, I, than with other characters. Um, sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is it a cyclone, Mr. Vic? Uh, yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Indeed, we've got three of them active right now, but no one, no unlock solutions at the moment. Okay. Uh, so let's present the Magatma and see what, uh, and see if we can figure out what she wants. Uh, motive for murder. Why was Juan Carina murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm! Why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting Mr. On Guard's life in danger by your actions? Uh, or at least his ability to ever leave prison again. Uh, why do you ask questions for which I have no answer? The truth is, I was not that close to Mr. Korea. Uh, you were not that close. That's right, I've never been good at being intimate with another person. Uh, that sounds like a very suspiciously specific denial. Um, you are not good at being intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Um. Huh. I don't think I'm gonna get anything from this. I'm gonna suggest, I'm gonna take a state and go with on guard, but it's gonna probably be wrong. I'm very bad at connecting with people. They're so depressing for the most part. Um, but especially just like feeble minded individuals. Oh shit. Uh, yes, well, that's why I don't think I could ever be intimate with you. <laughs> oh shit. Um, so I guess she's saying I'm both depressing and stupid, but I am, I am certain you were very close to the victim. So I know you like, but you still don't have any proof. Uh, you're not gonna be- so, that was incorrect. Uh, so, that's- just back out. I'm guessing any evidence that shows she was intimate with someone. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Okay. So, the other thing we were supposed to do in here, according to the walkthrough, was examine a slip of paper on the table. I assume that's this thing? No, it looks like this is this, 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 this thing. Um, so that's the same. Maybe I was talking about, uh, Karina's table? Uh, I'm gonna move over there and my sound cut out again. God damn it. Alright, I'll fix it. Okay, I, I, I got it fixed, like, real quick. Okay. Um, so that's. See if we can examine. Okay, the walkthrough said to examine a slip of paper on the table. I'm not seeing any slips of paper on the table, though. Is it maybe over here? Uh, this table? Um, maybe it's that, or is that just the general table? It's so messy. So this is the same as before. 
Okay, it said to examine the slip of paper on the table. Maybe it... Maybe it's, um... I didn't... I, I thought it was in... On guard's room, but it may not have been. I'll, I'll keep going and looking for some sort of paper on the table. There's not, a, there's not another half to on guard's hotel room, is there? No, there's not. Uh, maybe it's in the viola hall? Uh, uh, I don't see anything here. Um, okay, well, there's other things I could have done. It, it said to do them after I did the slip of paper, but whatever. Um, I'm supposed to present Andrew's profile to Will Powers, uh, intelligent woman who seems to have it all together. Hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little, so, like, um... So, like, yeah, as in you had a crush on her, or what? Hmm, so Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. Uh, what do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her, know her, you know? Oh god, Pearl's shipping again. See, exclamation point! Uh, there's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. Which is what? A rumor? Ah, if you're interested, I can give you a little bit of the details. She's so happy, he looks like a lion that just found his next meal, and hopefully doesn't bite people on the head. Um, so, can we talk to him? Gossip on Adrian. Uh, would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you're interested in it too? I figured you would be. Uh, yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip too! I'm guessing that this has something to do with, um, with Lada's scandal thing. Uh, oh really? You too? Uh, I don't really... Uh, yeah, so take a look at this. Uh, looks like a tabloid Miss Old Bag would read. Alright, let's see here. Jam and Midnight Rendezvous? Two of the mysterious yet a beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. So that's Adrian Andrews. Uh, you, you see now, don't... Uh, you, you see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Right. Uh, Ron didn't have a manager of his own, which means if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA, Adrian Andrews. No, yes, exactly. This is big news. But it seems kind of odd that woman, Miss Andrews, kind of with the biggest rival of her client? Oh, it's that wonderful thing that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy! Uh, yeah, you do too, Wendipo. Pearls is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Uh, well, well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. So, magazine clipping added to the court record, that might be... The answer to the first thing of both Lada and Adrian's Cyclops. Marco from the tabloid Gossip Land, check the check, touch the check on the details. Damn and Ronnie, a superstar of the ultra hot mega secret love scandal, reliable source to say that Ron Green has been getting in close to the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. So I'm gonna go see if I can um, if I can present that to the Magatmas for both of these two, um, you know, Lada and, no, I don't want to move, what am I doing? Present, Magatnam. But at least she only has two. And then, you know, I can do the first one and then get at least a clue to the second one. Alright, I decided to skip to it because she has a lot of text in this first section of the Magatma. So, uh, Phoenix says, perhaps an unfolding scandal between Juan Carita and this person. Now I'm gonna go with Adrian Andrews. Music stopped. Uh, this woman! She's Adrian Andrew, Andrews, Man Guard's manager. Hoof! <laughs> Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? So, we got one Cyclock broken. Uh, you're pretty good at this guess and thing, Mr. Lawyer, but you can't just make up any old thing and think you'll make the papers. Uh, you gotta have backup. Oh. Now I gotta have a drink. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that. That, what's it? New sauce. What? Um, you mean news source? Uh, <laughs> that's it. So show me something that shows that long guy had something with Miss Andrews. So that's probably going to be 
the, uh, the magazine clipping. Um, yeah, that's it. The, ma the music stops. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Uh, Jam and Midnight Rendezvous to the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A.? Ah! Mr. Korea didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Longard's manager, Adrian Andrews, is A.A. She has the initials A.A. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. So, huh. Things are pointing to maybe, um, maybe Adrian being the murderer. Who knows? You know, to try to avoid that scandal getting out. Uh, that's why you were lurking around Mr. Korea's door last night. Wah! So, uh, our clock is broken. Unlock successful, uh, so let's get our talk option, I suppose. Okay, big scoop. You were looking into Mr. Creed and Ms. Andrews' affair, weren't you? You got it! I was gonna get, my, get myself a scoop by catching him in a secret meeting! There's already an article about it in one of the weekly tabloid magazines, so I'm guessing she wanted, uh, pictures and proof and such. It's no longer breaking news. What'd you just say? Her initials are AA! What kind of vague thing is that? So she wanted proof that it was at Adrian specifically. That ain't no proof of nothing. People are gonna want to see real proof. Well, at least I do, so that's what I was doing. Getting photos. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna whip up the reason just with some gossip and a little misleading. Then spice it up a little and have myself an exclusive story. Jesus Christ, I hate this woman. Oh, uh, wow, what well, a nice journalistic integrity you got there. Uh, I'll finish, uh, finish writing up my spicy article, you know? But. Question mark. The paper I wrote it on, I know my note to myself, it's gone. Uh so I need to find uh her paper? Your note to yourself it is inside the case of my six hundred dollar camera. So that's why she needs her camera back. They done run off together. I came here for a big story, didn't come in and have my treasure disappear on me. Uh yeah, I understand. It's not to make a guy go bonkers, I tell you. What's with people now anyway? I never thought I'd see the day when someone done steal something from me! You really want that note back, huh? I've got no idea why, though. The story on that note is probably a bold-faced lie. Can't you not just rewrite it? Uh, last camera updated in the court record. Okay, so let's see what the update is, I suppose. Still in the night of the murder tabloid, tabloid article about the victims in the case. Uh, I wonder if Adrian Andrews' profile was updated. Uh, nope, it was not indeed. Okay, so I think I'm going to move to on guard's room and see if I can um, see if I can present the article to her first. Magatma and, and crap. Uh, I'm uh, my crap. Yeah, I my mix amp fell off the fell off my little table thing and uh, my set. Oh, Okay, there we go. It's, uh, there was just no sound on the game. Uh, so, I was wondering, so, let's skip through all this text. Blah, 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 you're not being, being good being with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Uh, let's scroll to the magazine clipping and take a stage. And present it. Music stopped. You must have had an intimate relationship, did you not? Da -da. A silly third rate or a silly third rate tabloid. I'm getting my voices and accents mixed up. Um, if you even had half your wits about you, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Uh, well, it seems quite a few people bought into this story. Hmm, as to be expected in a world filled with in a world filled with cooks and liars. Uh, not to self. Stay on her good side. And my sound is gone. Fuck it, I don't need it. In any case, it despises your personal relationships like that. I see, but you just have it. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me, need to get close to Mr. Korea, as if there was ever such a need. Need you to get close to Mr. Korea for this person's sake? Yeah... I don't, I don't think any of this is gonna be the answer. Uh, so I don't, I don't think I have a better than Seattle, blah, blah. Um, I'm pretty sure none of that is going to be the answer. Uh, oh god. My sound is fucked up again. Okay, see if I can fix it. Come on. No, I can't fix it. Okay. Er, oh, nope. There we go, it's back. Okay. So, I need to figure something out about this note, man. Uh, there's supposed to be a note on the table. 
but I don't see any oats on the table in here. Unless maybe it's over on that table? That might be just the sofa thing. Oops. Uh, it's the sofa, and I accidentally clicked it. I'll look up a walkthrough and double check my stuff. Alright, so I looked at the walkthrough again, and I, I didn't even mean to read that far in the first place. It just made me why I got things mixed up. So, um, basically, I need to do something else before it appears. Uh, what I need to do is present the wine glass to Gumshoe. So, about this wine glass. Ah, so you notice it, pal. The whole crime scene was a mess, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. Uh, you noticed that too, Detective Gumshoe? No, actually, Miss Von Karma noticed it first, so I guess she's our prosecutor. Yeah, Pearl's noticed it before me, too. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe it's a woman thing. I don't know. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma's coming here? Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, she's coming! Man, you're going to be in so much trouble, pal! Uh, I think it'd be best if you didn't bump into her hair! Oh, crap, she's gonna appear right now, isn't she? You can by the instant I see her, I'll be running the 1,000 meter dash. Oh, dear lord. Speak of the devil, and she shall appear, I said. What's that baby noise, Mr. Nick? Oh, I've heard the sound somewhere before. It's Miss Von Karma! Huh? Uh, whenever I hear that sound, for some reason, she pops out of nowhere and whips me! Come to think of it, that didn't happen the last time, so, uh, we need to, like, hide or something. Uh, sorry, I've gotta make myself scarce! Later, pal! Uh, I should do- Ow! <laughs> yep, speak of the devil and she shall appear. At last, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright! <sighs> Would it be too much to ask for you to be nice to me for a change? So, you're the type to steal information from pitifully hopeless detectives! Um, yeah, <laughs> that's very dishonorable of you. Is she whipping me or herself? Ow, I guess me. Uh, hey, don't you wanna dare run away, Scuffy McKinchcoat! <laughs> Gumshoe's still here. Ah, oh, I didn't think the detectives of this country could be this pitiful! I'm trying to get Maya back, please. Ah! <laughs> Detective, come over here for a second! <laughs> Kinky. Did you did she knock him out or something? Uh, <laughs> oh god, I got the hiccups. Oh god. I feel better knowing that at least you are man enough to face your punishment! You were so scared you just froze up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright! You! You have stolen my perfect prosecution record! Right. I'll never forget that! This time, victory is mine! Dot dot dot. Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? Uh, dot dot dot. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I got the hiccups. Okay, oh, it's a good thing we're close to ending things. I got like... Two more things to do in this video. Uh, I'm basically just gonna get myself as far as the walkthrough got me, and then I'm ending it. We shouldn't. Uh, we should hopefully not be much longer now. Uh, come, Scuffface. The investigation briefing is about to begin. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Is she not the, Is she the kind of lady that make, makes people call her sir, like uh, Gates from Castle? Uh, this isn't over yet. I swear on my family's honor. Ow! Now what did you throw at me? What is this? So yeah, this is the paper. I was like, well, I guess this means I gotta get back to the precinct now, pal. If you ever need me, come down to the Criminal Affairs Department, all right? And if you can, try not to let Ms. Von Karma see you. So I remember we were there with Rise of the Ashes. Um, so we can now examine things, and uh, well, would you look at that? There's a piece of paper on the table now that wasn't there before. Um, let me make sure I'm actually on it. Uh, Mr. Dick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? It's got Mr. Green's name written on it, so it's, it's his autograph. I can't read it at all! Uh, I, I can see a cursive J. Uh, to be honest, I've never seen writing that looks like this. Uh, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Uh, look here, see how- or, well, why did I change voices there? Uh, look here, see what it says to my dearest Wendy and more normal letters here? Wendy, hmm. This sloppy, unreadable writing? It's crazy and cruel to give this to someone! Uh, hold on. 
Say, question mark, Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. Alright, Miss Priya's autograph is added to the court record. So, we can now go to uh, the, uh, the lobby, and I wonder what this could be for. Um, huh. Actually, you know, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, how much text did Old Bag have for her, uh, for her Magatma? I can't remember. I'm just, you know what? Screw it. I'm, sp I'm speeding things up. And we we've already seen all this text, so... Okay, I'll give you what you want, which is gonna be... I'll take a steak, but I'm... What? Uh, oh, God damn it. Okay, uh, I accidentally changed the window size again. Um, so, I, I'm, as I'm trying to take a steak... Okay. Take a steak. Okay, I present the autograph. Yeah, music stop. <laughs> that's... That's one's autograph! Uh, yes it is. And I even says, to my dear Wendy on it! <laughs> that's me, right? Right? Um, my name is Wendy Oldberg, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Uh, well, it may say Wendy, but somehow I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. It'll do. <laughs> oh, please, give it to me! Let me have it, please! Uh, uh, I can't just let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know! Uh, how about exchange? They all fucking break, except one. Oh wow, she must really want this autograph. My well, offer's good enough for you! Fine, Mr. Wright, you win! What do you obey? Ready to open up her heart? Off my dearest woman! <laughs> and it just removes all those psych locks. Uh, the unlock is successful. Autograph given to Wendy Dearest. Okay. Uh, let's talk about what she witnessed. I, f I feel bad for you now! Huh? But I tell you, I saw him that night! I saw him coming out of Wall's room! Uh, on guard? You're kidding. Oh no! It was about ten minutes before Wall's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence, I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And, uh, oh yeah, the toilet is down there. Did you tell that to the police? Well, of course, I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it, maybe more. Dear Lord. Gift certificate? Uh, I never recruited again for that part of the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. Uh, this time, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. Oh, shit. Um, but Mr. Ungar hasn't done anything bad. Uh, I don't care about details like that. I know if we did my dear poor Juan in, I just do. That yellow belly chicken. Uh, Hello, belly chicken. I wonder what that would look like. Uh, I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad and I say he did it. When Mr. On Guard ever do to her to deserve this? On Guard's past. Oh, I guess she has, she has a grudge against him as well as, like, a crush thing on one. What did Mr. On Guard do to you to make you so... You don't know? That guy, he framed my one. He created that scandal that played poor Juan. Okay, so this has this is probably um to do with uh with maybe um Andrew's psychologue. I don't know. Uh uh Mr. Nick! What what is it? What's a scandal? Oh, um I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? Uh, Poor Woe, and then straight by the wild of that vile temptress. Uh, Mr. Nick, what do vials and wild temptress mean? Oh, God. Ah, she got it. <laughs> um, how about we just listen to what this old bag has to say for now? Okay, Pearls? Jesus, he is an annoying little kid. Um, so, Miss old bag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? Uh, that guy, he shoved the girl on the wall on purpose. So... Um, so he, maybe it made it look bad for the tabloids, I don't know. He's a manager, but why? I, I thought guys were smart. He was to create a scandal to make Juan lose face. That girl drove Juan into a scandal and dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. I figured it was more of a scandal for Adrian. Um, what do you know about that anyway, Miss Old Bag? I'm one of the world's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. 
And do you have proof of Mr. On Guard did what you say he did? Um, next week issue of a certain magazine says so. Uh, of course, a tabloid, probably written by Lana. Uh, next week, doesn't that mean it's something people don't know about yet? She got a little, why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? And where did she get it? Oh, Lana, probably. <laughs> okay, so we didn't get anything out of that, really. Okay. I don't know what to do next. I'll probably look around. I might have to look at the walkthrough. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm ending the video here, so I make a dash and I'm out.